Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video will be solving practice problem 7.2 from chapter 7 of Mr. Alexander Siddiqui's book and this is related to source free RC circuit. Now before we begin the problem let me just clarify a, a, a concept which some students have difficulty. Let's see these two circuits. This circuit, you can see that the switch is open at T is equal to zero. That means after T is equal to zero, that is T greater than zero, this source is removed from the circuit. So what is left is this one. And since there is no source present, therefore this will be called source free RC circuit. So any circuit which after t greater than zero does not have a source is source free circuit. On the contrary, if you look at this, the switch is connected at A at t greater than zero or equal to zero, this is moved to B. So at t greater than zero, this will be the circuit. And you can see this circuit has a source even after t greater than zero. That means this circuit will be called circuit with source or generally we call it step response circuit okay with this background now let's come to the practice problem 7.2 if the switch in figure the switch here opens at t is equal to zero that means it is closed and at t is equal to zero this is opened we have to find vt now remember in the rc circuit Whenever we say Vt, that means it is the voltage across the capacitor. In some books, they write Vct, that is better, but uh, Mr. Alexander has written it only Vt. So this voltage we have to find for T greater than or equal to zero. And also we have to find the energy stored at time T is equal to zero. Now this is the formula that we use for a source free RC circuit to find V where this V0 or this V0 is the initial voltage uh, to which the capacitor is charged and then tau is also called RC and for initial storage of energy we use this formula half CVC square or half capital C V zero square. Coming on to the first one, we need to find V zero first. So we go to the circuit at T less than zero. That means when the switch is connected. So when this switch is connected, two thing already has happened. The capacitor has been fully charged and therefore it will behave like an open circuit. And the voltage across the capacitor will be called capital V0. So we have to calculate this one. So this is a simple um, calculation. These two are in parallel. So we'll solve them in parallel. It will become equivalent to 3 ohms. So our circuit will look like this. Now this voltage here is same as the voltage across 3 ohm resistors. Therefore, by voltage division rule, we will find the voltage across 3 ohm, which will be V0. Okay, so by voltage division rule, we see the total voltage 24 divided by 6 and 3. 6 plus 3 multiplied by 3, that is 8 volt is our V0. Now we need to find tau or RC for using this formula, V0 we have found. Now for RC we have to go to T greater than 0 which is the transient period. So when we move the switch, remove the switch T, T greater than 0 then this is the circuit which is left. So this circuit and now because it is in transient period the capacitor will not be short uh, open circuited and all we need to do is calculate rc from here so this is the circuit and if we look from here 
then we can find R and C. Now these two you can see from parallel. You have to look from the uh, capacitor or inductor circuit from for across which you are going to uh, calculate the voltage or the current. So looking from here, these two are in parallel. So the circuit will now be like this, 12 parallel, 4 is 3. So this is our R or R equivalent and this is C. So tau is equal to RC is equal to 3 multiplied by 1 over 6. So it will be 1 over 2 seconds. So putting in the formula, V0 we have already found 8 volt and RC we found. So 8 e raised to the power minus T divided by tau was 1 over 2 and this will become 8 e raised to the power minus 2t. So this is the answer for the first part and now we come to the energy storage simple formula half c b 0 square. So half and c is 1 over 6 v is 8 so v 0 square so the answer will be 5.33 joules. I hope you have been able to follow this. Uh, please let me know through your feedback. This is a quite simple circuit. Thank you.